Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can send this 28 BYJ48 stepper motor to any angle that we want. We will be able to set the angle in the code, and then using these two push buttons, we can send it to any angle. For example, it is set now to 180 degrees. When I press it, it goes to 180 and it stops. And this will send it the other direction, in clockwise direction. Also, when it goes to a direction with this push button, we can stop it at any moment. The speed of this also can be controlled within the code, so you can slow it down or speed it up. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. There are applications that you need to control this stepper motor at a certain angle. For example, if you want this one to move always to 180 degrees, you can press this push button and it goes to 180. Or if you want 200, 500, 1000 degrees, doesn't matter. As, as much uh, rotation as you want, you can set it either for clockwise and counterclockwise. And also because sometimes you want to send it in a certain angle, I have also provided a stop push button when you press it it will be stopped so these push buttons are just f for helping you to understand how this works but instead of these push buttons you can also control it via some kind of sensor when a sensor is sensing something any parameter temperature speed position or anything this motor will react and can be controlled also, I've provided a speed control for this, so you can set the speed of it. Either the fastest one will be 4 seconds 1 rotation, or maybe slow it down. If you set it to 2, 2 times 4, it will be 8 seconds, so you can do the multiple of 4. So either 4 seconds, 8, and so forth. Now let me explain the wiring. I'm using this long pen push buttons you can get them from eBay AliExpress or Amazon they are very convenient for this purpose the left pin of this is connected to this wire where I put it to this point and the left pin of this push button is connected to the same point and from this I put another wire so all these push buttons or the left pin are connected together where I will put a wire to the ground and then the light right pin of this is free here this is also free and this is also free here i'm connecting this brown wire to the ground the next wire these are accordingly side by side and then the next one the free to this one and then the last one will be here now i'm connecting these to arduino this will be connected to ground and th and these three will be accordingly connected to pin two three and four of Arduino. This is this push button is for stop, this is for clockwise and this is for counterclockwise. These four pins in, in one, in two, in three and in, in four, I've put a bunch of wires here which I'm going to connect it to pin 10, 11, 12 and 13. And here this side is red, that will be connected to 5 volts, this will be connected to ground of Arduino. And here. So the red is connected to 5 volts. Because this motor needs about 180 milliampere and my USB can supply it, I'm connecting it. If uh, your motor ha gets some load and it draws more current, then connect an external 5 volts, remove this and connect it to your 5 volts. But make sure from this ground bring one more wire to the ground of Arduino and it will work fine. If you need a wiring diagram for this, it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. Now let me explain the code. We're defining four pins for the four inputs of the module for these sections, for these four wires. 
So we are defining pin 10, 11, 12, and 13 for that purpose. And then we are defining for the three push buttons, for these three, we need one wire or one input. And here I have defined pin 2 for stop, pin 3 for CW, pin 4 for CCW. You can change this pin if you wish. And this is the speed factor. If you set it 1, that will be 4 seconds, the fastest speed. 2 would be 2 times 4 would be 8 seconds. And whatever number you put, that will be multiplied by 4. And that is the amount of seconds that it will take for to complete one revolution. Here, this is the angle. You will set the angle. If you set this to 360 by pressing the push buttons, when you press this, one of them, it goes 360 degrees with one push button. Or if you, go, if you press this one, it will go counterclockwise 360 degrees. And these two are clockwise, counterclockwise correction in case if your motor does not stop at exact 360 degrees and it, if it needs correction for CW and CCW, you can put the value. These are the correction values that I have found out for this motor. You can reduce them to zero. You can increase or decrease them even minus to fix them. But if they work, do not touch them. For the rest of the code, if you need a full explanation, it is available as part of my Arduino course at udemy.com. The link to my course is below this video in the description. Now let me demonstrate it. Inside the code, the angle that we have set for this is 270 degrees. And when I press this clockwise direction, it has to go 180 and 270 will be somewhere here. And it stopped. Let's set it to 360. And set the speed to 1. So, trying it now. This is the time. It takes 4 seconds to complete one revolution in both directions. And now I've set the angle 720 degrees, so this should go twice. Now let's press this. I've speed it up as well, so that's once. And it will stop the same way it can go into the other direction. And at any moment, I can stop it from here. And here, th that's the speed. If I change this to 2 and upload this, this will take, it will take around 8 seconds to complete one, revol to one revolution. So this will take 16 seconds. So 8 seconds for one revolution. And 8 more seconds for another revolution. Let's set it to 360. Let's set it to 7. 7 times 4, 28. So this will take 28 seconds to complete at 360 degrees. And of course, if I run this and press the stop, at any moment we can stop it. Thank you for watching. This was a tutorial showing you how to send this motor to any angle that you want 
in clockwise or in counterclockwise. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. Let me now demonstrate it. Inside the code, the angle is set to 270 degrees and now I'm pressing this. You know 20 is 270 degrees, that's, that's 180 plus 90, it will be somewhere here.